I made a video last week explaining the obstruction call that ended the third game of the World Series. Most of it was accurate, and the ultimate outcome of the play was the correct call. But a viewer named Epiphany2000 pointed out that I screwed up on one of the rules, which is exactly what happened. So I said that the rule that was supposed to be applied here was Rule 7.06a, which applies to obstruction calls where there is a play being made on the runner at the time of the obstruction. But after rereading the whole rule, I had an epiphany. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, sorry. But as Mr. Epiphany pointed out, at the time of the obstruction, the ball was in left field. This means that it was actually rule 7.06b that is the rule that applies to this situation. So what does this change? Well, Part B says that if no play is being made on the obstructed runner, the play shall proceed until no further action is possible. The umpire shall then call time and impose any such penalties, if any, as in his judgment will nullify the act of obstruction. So the play did continue, it would appear, because the umpires, in fact, let it continue and not, as I originally had said, because there was just confusion. Obviously, the umpires decided that the proper penalty was to award Craig home plate. The run was enough to win that night, but in the meantime, Boston has won the World Series. So congratulations to them for that. So once again, thanks to Epiphany2000 for calling me out on my mistake. I tried to make these videos as accurate as possible, but if you ever see something that doesn't quite seem to make sense to you, please leave a comment and we can correct it for everyone in the future. Thanks for watching.